and welcome to the first video or could be two bits of videos for my help for heroes ultramarines devastator squad i've finally got built after being ill and then thinking the deadline was uh, at the end of january when actually it was in the february and then uh, i was ill february so <laughs> everything's got messed up and um finally here um should i talk yeah I'll talk a little bit about what I've done, um, had to do, so I've, you might have seen before I did, a while ago did a tactical squad I built for someone and uh, and uh, there was a lot of miscasts in there, that's the same thing again, so I've, I've, I wasn't going to, but I thought I might as well do it, do it, do it quickly, so I killed only five of them. I've sculpted in the, the detail, I've lost detail of uh, things like the short, the uh, knee pads, I've described some of the details while it was lost, just that Make him look good because they're going to go to someone else. You know, it's, you know, it's a prize. I wanted to make it look good, and also to help me paint it as well. Instead of having to paint lines where there should actually be a, a line there in the detail, um, I actually had to send back um, some resin pieces back to Forge World because they were miscast, and I had to send, take photographs to show them that they were wrong uh, in, the, in, the, in the torsos, um, which they sent back uh, new pieces. And then I found when I finally got to build them, that there was a lot of um, uh, miscastings uh, and thin detail, which was breaking away on things like the edging of the iron armor here around the, the arms. Um, and I tried um, filling it in with super glue um, and sanding it and in, into shape, but um, some of the parts it, it was just too fragile and it just broke away. So I just had to cut it away and. It, I, Use the excuse if you like that uh, <coughs> because this is old armor, it's gonna look old and a bit battle damaged. <laughs> um, other than that, um, there were some holes in the, in the backpack which I had to fill in super glue, but luckily, these all I forgot about. I was gonna add these ammo packs here, um, cover that up so it just helps. I've pinned in the little spinny bits on the end of the missile launchers because I don't want them cracking off. Um, <laughs> And I've had to heat up the arms here to make them fit. What else have I had to do? Um, well, I've given them purity seals, extra purity seals, because uh, I gave them a few to the sergeant here. He's going to be a veteran sergeant. Um, the whole idea, if you haven't seen the other the previous video, is that because these are the uh, fourth company, then um, and they're known as the defenders of Kalf. Um, which is an ancient battle in the Horus Heresy. Um, I thought it'd be a cool idea to give them um, armor from that era. So the idea is with the company that um, the Marines who prove themselves in battle through exceptional deeds get the honor of wearing ancient armor from uh, those times. So you've got this squad here who've been got given different pieces of armor here, and uh, they have pewter seals on them to. You know, show that they've done something and uh, they've earned this armor. So, um, so, so it's the armor of two marines, which has been sort of split up between them. And the uh, <coughs> the, the sergeant is he's, he's a veteran sergeant. He's got some more sort of detail on his uh, chest there. Um, uh, what else have I done? So that was the idea. That oh yeah, also in the, the fluff there is. Um, some fourth company marines mentioned so it all ties in so i've got some artwork to look at um i've got the mccrags on a book which i remember looking through and i had just that showed pictures of uh, green trimmed marines in there and uh some different sort of schemes there with the the white shoulder pads and, and stuff so i'll put all that into the painting um so i've done oh yeah, i've cut the the arms are magnetized on the shoulder, uh, shoulder marines, on the uh, missile launcher marines, so that will ma make it easier to paint. It's the first time I had to do that. Um, it's come out pretty much all right. I've, I, I did try using my heat gun and hot water to get these arm, these arms to be a bit closer, but they are just um, about holding it there, sort of fingertip and thumb. Um, again, because I haven't got much time, so I missed out the. Uh, uh, the so, well, take, it's, it's, it's taking too long for me to get to this with other things to do. Um, if there were my own ones, I would have probably spent a bit more time getting that closer, but um, I think that, that will just have to do, I'm afraid. But then you can move them down and see whatever detail I'm going to paint here, something in there. I'd like to have some Rogue Trader 
related um, markings in there if I can. The heavy bottle guys, their arms are loose as well. Ding ding! It just pops in there. Now, uh, so it will make it easier to paint. What else have I done? Oh, the, his backpack will come off. So, what I we'll have to do next is. Um, I think there's a lot of uh, other miscast detail or stuff in the legs here, uh, that I had to go in with needle files and, and sanding sticks to bring the, the detail out things like around these little nodules and um, around the back of the legs and under the legs and and here where it's all sort of very rough especially these sort of areas as well uh, it's all rough and rubbish <laughs> so that took a, um, added the extra time onto doing that um, I did a little thing I did was I, I cut out a couple of pewter seals because I gave a few to, to uh, the sergeant, the, the, the more special looking ones. He'd be the veteran sergeant. Um, from a tabard, so I've got one on one shoulder pad there. And the other one on, um, oh yeah, this guy's leg down here. And, um, is there anything else to say about that? Oh yeah, I've drilled up the barrels on the missile launchers to, well, I thought uh, there, there were recessed in there. And you could have just I could have just painted black, but um, it wouldn't really match up with these heavy bottles because they've got proper um, barrels on them. And uh, I think that's all there was to say about them. I think yeah. Uh, I thought maybe I had some idea. I had an idea of perhaps putting on uh, painting in uh, something that says "Help for Heroes," maybe in Latin, that Latin version of it. Maybe on the uh, scroll on his um, power fist, perhaps. Let's see, see how that fits in or not. Um, so what I'm going to do now is get the resin sprayed with some satin varnish, which is a tip I'm in from Chuffy. And thank you, Chuffy. Thumbs. And um, get paint in undercoat paint. All right. So um, this has gone for seven minutes. It could actually be one part in its whole self. Um, check out links below. Help the heroes. Two pounds. Two will help you. Will get you a ticket, and you can win this whole army. Made of all the YouTubers, which looks really amazing. There's so many awesome miniatures that have been painted for this. It's a worthy cause, and um, it's really great. And if you don't want to win the army, you can always donate if, you, if you're interested in the cause for it, you know, Help for Heroes. Um, you can do that instead. I'll leave the links uh, below. Check it out. Thanks very much for watching. Apologies again for this being taking such a long time. We'll see if this goes into one whole. Uh, thing or not you'll see in a second but thanks for watching okay thanks bye